Hi guys, it's me, Agatha. I'm back and I'm gonna teach you how to make this like kind of editorial Halloween makeup look. That is if I'm able to get this up before Halloween. I really hope I am able to. Anyways, let's dive into this beach. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is block out your eyebrows. Um, this will give the galactic masquerade mask or whatever. This will make it look like it's like, like an actual mask. So how you do that is you just take school glue. Make sure it's washable though, because if it's permanent, you're fucked. Um, but just take washable school glue, like smear it all over your eyebrow like this. I'm gonna do it off camera because it takes like 20 minutes. And then comb it through with a spoolie. And then take a loose pressed powder. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And then just press it on top. Okay, so, so now that your brows are blocked out, you should look a little bit like Voldemort, but that's okay, that's what we want. So. Next, you just have to do your foundation. Now, foundation is a little tricky. If you put water-based face paint on top of some foundations, it'll like mix and you'll have like a disgusting flesh-colored galaxy, which is not cute. Also, you don't have to do your brows, so just hold off on that, leave them like this. So I just finished putting on my foundation, but like I said, only like here and a little bit up here. And then I contoured a little bit, but you don't, you don't really have to because it's gonna mix with the paint and you're gonna have like a shit colored galaxy okay next is eyeshadow now if you're like wearing this out to trick or treat if you still do that um you have to prime your eyes because it might get weird okay so now that these bitches are primed and ready to go you're gonna want to take the bh cosmetics take me back to brazil palette and then a little brushy brush that looks like this and then go into the black and then put this all over your lid this is gonna be like the abyss of space. Hi sisters. Okay, now that you look kind of like a raccoon or maybe like Lady Gaga from a 2010 music video, um, you're gonna wanna blend out the black. And to do that, I'm just gonna take, hang on. I'm gonna take a, the skinny brush and I'm gonna go into this um, one, this like navy blue. And then just use this beach to blend out your crease. Okay, so now that you use the dark blue in your crease, you're gonna wanna take a thick blending brush. This one's so dirty. But um, you're gonna wanna go into like, hang on. There we go. Okay, you're gonna wanna go into like a neon kind of blue or like teal shade. Sorry, I don't know color. Use this color to blend out the dark blue in your crease. But make sure not to go like, too heavy-handed. Okay, so if it looks like both of your eyes are bruised, it's working. Okay, next take a little pencil brush. Hold on. I think it's too thin to focus. I think it's working now. Anyways, take a little chode brush. Go into the black one again. And then just put that across your lower lash line. Okay, next take a brush like this. Hang on. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Take a brush like this, and then go into the pink shade. This, like, neon pink shade right here. Just use that to blend out the black on your lower lash line. This is still looking really weird, but trust me, it gets so pretty at the end. Are you sure about that? Next, take the same brush, whatever, and then go into this purple one right down here. And then we're going to use this only on like the outer part of our lower lash line and it's going to blend the blue and the pink together. How could this happen? Okay, so next you're going to want to take the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette. You could use the Kat Von D Alchemist Palette, but we don't support her on this channel. Ooh. Take a little pointy brush like this. Does it feel like focusing or... Okay, yeah. Take a pointy brush, go into the shade Queen which is the blue, and just pop this in your inner corner. Okay, so after you put that shit in your inner corner, go in with a brush that looks like this, like a little paddle brush. And I'm gonna be using a shade from this discontinued Too Faced palette. I'm gonna be using String of Lights from the Too Faced, um, I don't know, it looks like this. But like, any silver glitter will do the trick. I remember my friend gave me this palette a long time ago. Well, she didn't give it to me. She kind of like was throwing it out and I took it, so. Ooh. Anyways, you're just gonna wanna take this and then put it in the center of your lid, not all over. And this will give you the look of like really pretty stars. Girl, look at how pretty that is with the silver glitter on top. See, it's coming together 
and to think you were gonna make fun of me in the comment section. Just get a royal blue liner and then put it on your waterline. Never mind, don't do that. So fur looks like this. I always wait until after I have the face paint on before I put on my lashes, because if a glob of face paint gets on it, it looks really weird. This is so fun. So for the mask, take a purple lip liner. This is from the dollar store. It's by the brand C'est La Vie or whatever. You can just find one from NYX. I don't know, it's not my problem. But, um, just kind of outline where you want the mask to be, like the eye holes and the general shape. Okay, here's the fun part, girls. We get to paint, I love painting. So for my face painting looks, I always use this big ass Mayron Paradise paint palette, but I'll admit, this was expensive. You can use like any water activated face paint, like Snazaroo, you can just buy it on Amazon. Just any water activated face paint with a similar color to these would work. For Halloween, Wet n Wild released these guys. These are good, but they're not good for like this kind of stuff because these will kind of smudge and they don't set down so you want to use water activated because it'll set down and you can like i don't know you can trick or treat with it on the so first color we're going to use to make the mask is this like navy blue but like not navy blue because it's a little too bright kind of color so if you don't have the mayron one just get any color that looks like this and i'm going to be using this flat brush from wet n wild that's kind of like the same size as my finger so just take it and basically color in the lines now you're gonna wanna kind of add like the like clouds and like the nebulae, as some astrophysicists would say. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna take the lighter, hold on. So this is the color of the mask I'm wearing right now. You're gonna, you can take like a color like this or like a little bit of pink. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pink too. And then use a little bit of white too. And then you just add the details. Oh my gosh, okay, I forgot a step. Um, Take a little skinny like brush like this, like super skinny, um, and then go into like the base color, the dark blue, and then make like little lines in like a cute ass pattern. <laughs> okay, so I just finished drawing on like the spikes, and like it took me so long on oh, jizz. Okay, so this is how it looks now that I added like the little like queefs of color here and there. Next, what you're gonna want to do is take a white eyeliner. I'm gonna use the NYX one because it's like. The only one at the drugstore. Okay, so this is gonna be what you're gonna do to like make the big stars. So, and like the little shooting stars and stuff. But like, honestly, the more random the better. Cause like, the galaxy is like literally like random as fuck. So, just put it on however you want. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is how like stage one of the stars look. Just do like the big stars and like the shooting stars and stuff. Cause now to do like the tinier stars and to make it look like there's like actual stars on like our eyelids, you're gonna wanna take a brush like this. You can use an eyeshadow spoolie, not eyeshadow, an eyebrow spoolie, and then like one that's like really like that, one that's like really like coarse. Next, take your white face paint and make it like really, really watery, like literal water. Take it and then, okay, close your eyes and then flick it like this on your skin. And then that'll give you more like, more stars. Okay, so now that we're pretty much done with the face paint, you can do your lashes. Um, I'm gonna be using these false lashes, the same ones I always use from AliExpress. They're dirty as fuck, but like... <laughs> Bitch, I'm telling you, literally, lashes make everything so much more pretty. Like, it literally turned this from facial bruising into, like, astral goddess. Okay, now, if you look in the Instagram post, the mask looks way, like, lighter and more, like, glowing, like it's glowing. I'm gonna teach you how to do that right now. How you do that? Take a highlighter brush and then go in the shade Queen, which is from the BH palette again. Go into that beach. And then if you use this over the blue, it literally makes it pop like so much. See, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but. The lipstick, you know, you can use any color you want. It doesn't really matter. You could, this look goes well with like, you could do a black, you could do a nude. But on me, I love a true red with it. This is Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in the shade, uh, let me find it, Missy and Fierce. Are you fucking serious? She literally does this while I'm filming. It's almost like on purpose. Okay, my sister's out of the shower, so thank God. 
So the last step is optional, but so is being pretty. So do this step. You have to set your face. My favorite setting spray is the Ben Nye Final Seal. This one will keep you popping all night, honey. However, if you want more like a dewy finish or like a skin-like finish, which is what I actually prefer, um, I would use the Morphe setting spray. I'm like, I'm all out of it though, so I have to buy more. The Morphe setting spray is literally so good. Like the one that's like, like that one. That one's so good. Get that one right now. Anyways. Am I crying? No. If you do this look or follow this tutorial or whatever, just tag me on Instagram at looks by Liam and I'll like your thing and I'll comment something really skinny. So if you follow this tutorial, make sure to do that. Make sure to share this video with your friends and whatever because I want more subs. And happy Halloween.